everyone, so today is the highly anticipated launch video of the Shenixo palette, the remix by BH Cosmetics. I am so hyped and so excited to like share this with you. I'm going to talk about the palette first, share some swatches, and then at the end of the video I'm going to do a tutorial for this look here. It's a really nice simple bronzed kind of eye with a little hint of pink. Bronzed skin and then the bright orange lips just to set it off. This is perfect for spring and summer if you're in the southern hemisphere like myself. Otherwise if you are in fall, this eye would look amazing with a dark burgundy lip. Like it would look perfect. So you can switch it up if you like. Anyway, let's just like dive into this because I I am so pumped. The response to the first Shenixo palette, which if you don't know, this is it here. Mine's a little bit dirty because obviously it's well loved. It came with nine lipsticks and nine eyeshadows and this went so much better than any of us ever imagined. Like we thought it would do well, but you guys like absolutely hit it out of the park. Like you guys loved it. There was such a great response from you guys sending me your looks, sending me your photos, such amazing reviews on the website. Like the overall love for this palette was just so overwhelming and so amazing. And we cannot thank you enough for that. Over the last year, I've had so many requests for a part two and little did you guys know over that entire time and more, we've actually been planning a new one, which is obviously the one I'm showing you today, the remix. Now the packaging is revamped as you can see like it's brighter pink put a little bit of shiny shiny on the packaging to kind of like be nice and reflective a nice metallic remix logo so you can definitely tell them apart if you do already own the original like it's nice and easy for you to tell which is which I chose this nice metallic pink it's so beautiful like I'm just in love with it and then on the other side it's a little bit of a lighter color so you can kind of tell the sides apart and you can see on the front it says 18 color shadow palette now the reason we haven't called it eyeshadow palette is because a few of the colors contain like the red dyes and everything which on some people not myself but on some people it can stain the skin around their eyes so it's just you know just be aware of that there's more information on the actual box and there will be more information on the actual website so this is what the box looks like you can pause this if you would like I cannot actually begin to explain how many people have messaged myself BH Cosmetics left comments left reviews saying like please never discontinue this eyeshadow palette because it's my holy grail I use it every day etc etc so we've bought back the eyeshadows so these are nine fan favorite shades sorry I've been playing with this so it's not perfect it was perfect when it arrived in the post but I played with it before I showed you which was dumb I wanted to keep it nice and new but oh well <laughs> so we've bought back the nine fan favorites now these eyeshadows are my holy grails I use at least one of these shades pretty much every time I do my makeup in real life and I use it in videos all the time as you guys know especially that top row and second row like these two rows are my favorite and then this row down here is really fun for like nine time or if I want to try something different. We've got the mirror and you'll notice we've actually named each shade. Well I have named each shade so I've called each shade something so it's a little bit easier for me when I'm doing my tutorials to like communicate with you guys as to which shade I am using at any time. Okay you may be wondering like now that there are eyeshadows on both sides of this palette why did I not just do a traditional palette you know like a traditional palette very good question first of all I love how slim and compact this palette is it is perfect for traveling I take it every time I travel with me it's not huge and bulky the other reason I kept it like this is because I don't know about you guys but personally when I have a palette with a lot of eyeshadows in it like more than 12 or something like that I get quite overwhelmed because there's just so many colors happening and I always seem to reach for the same few shades and neglect other shades that are really beautiful but I just don't think about it because I see like this mash of color and I'm just like oh that one So I wanted to keep it double-sided so that it's really simple So you look at this and you're like, okay, I can see the colors, you know You're not getting overwhelmed by this plus color plus, you know different undertones It's just very simple and one of the ways I like to look at the little nine pan palettes is like, you know This is a look. This is a look. This is a look all of the colors kind of go together So you can't really screw it up. They're just perfect for every day But there's again those darker colors so you can kind of vamp up your look look for nighttime. I've actually been using the new side of this palette even though it's a little bit scarier like it's a little bit more colorful I've been using the new side almost every single time I've done my makeup I've used it overseas like when I've gone to events I've been using it like crazy. My eye makeup is a secret. My makeup once again a secret. The eyes I can't tell you either. Oh it's so beautiful. Seriously I love 
love love these shadows and I know you may be a little bit intimidated by a couple of the colors but I'm gonna do tutorials and show you how wearable they can be so up the top we have a nice neutral line of shadows then we have some pinks and like more burgundy red shades and then down the bottom we have obviously this super bright pink which is actually amazing as a blush as well so if you're looking at this palette like oh I can't even use that color if you don't usually you know go for colorful eye makeup this is actually beautiful on your cheeks and I show you how it looks right here I'm wearing it today believe it or not like it is not scary whatsoever trust me it's actually one of my favorite colors in the entire palette then we have this nice muted purple and then this really beautiful muted kind of warm pink which almost acts like a neutral I use this just like all over my eyelid like it's just beautiful for everyday wear there are so many different looks you can create with this palette and separating this side of the palette from the other side of the palette just makes the colors a little bit more you know they each stand out on their own so it's not kind of overwhelming like I said but then of course you can go from one side to the next like it's no issue I've kind of made each side a little bit of like a standalone palette so you can almost think of this as like a two-in-one palette getting two nine pan eyeshadow palettes in one. I am so so proud of this palette it is so beautiful the colors are amazing they're easy to blend they are pigmented they go on like a dream okay and the price point is so affordable I'm just so stoked on this palette I know so many of you guys are excited so I really hope from the bottom of my heart that it really fulfills your excitement just like my last palette of course I'll do heaps more tutorials as well in the coming week and months and stuff I actually have a playlist down below I'll link it down below of a whole lot of tutorials I've created with this side only. I know you guys will ask, this is cruelty free. It is vegan. The eyeshadow is all vegan, which is amazing. It's dermatologist tested. It's even gluten free. Now I'm going to swatch every single shade for you, including the original nine shades. And then we will bounce straight into the tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here is a closer look at the darker pink side, which is the original side. When swatching these, I'm really kind of blending them as I go so you can kind of see you know what they're gonna look like on your eye the first color which is called clarity this is just the perfect bonnet colored highlight color it's matte the next shade is called holy grail speaks for itself it is my holy grail shimmery champagne color for highlighting brow bone in a tear duct lid anything it's so so beautiful the next shade is called glow baby this is perfect again for a highlighter on medium skin tones or just as a perfect rose gold for all over the eyelid next is buttercup I like to use this in the crease as a really warm crease color or I mix it together with the terracotta color which is coming soon this one here is called beach babe perfect bronze I love it and then this is the terracotta color which I call terracotta perfect in the crease or in the outer V or all over the lid and through the crease it's just like a one color eyeshadow look next up is toasted which is a shimmery taupe color it's so beautiful on the eyelid and the next shade is called avocado this is a duochrome which kind of goes warm brown to green to like a bluish color it's so beautiful and the last color is silhouette which is the darkest matte color and it is perfect for like an eyeliner or for deepening out the outer V and that is how all of these colors look so they are all quite neutral and wearable but I think they are all quite unique as well and the looks you can create are endless like I'll list my playlist down below like I said there's so many different looks you can create now we have the lighter pink packaging side which is the new side which has some pinks and some neutrals and some purple and burgundy first we have island glow which is the perfect light gold for highlighting brow bone and a corner cheeks and then next we have need you which is my essential crease color this is like one of my favorite shades from the entire palette that one is matte and so is this one here which is called dark horse which is just a darker brown now we have dream girl which is another beautiful quite unique shade it's a peachy pink kind of duochrome it is so nice I love it and it's a really fun one to play with this next reddish shade is called stalker and it speaks for itself it is a matte it is so beautiful and actually really wearable I'll show it to you in some tutorials and then we have vampette which is an even darker reddish burgundy color and then the next shade is called bestie and this is a really wearable muted pinkish kind of shade it actually acts really well like a neutral next is a really wearable purple called lover this one is super muted as well and just looks beautiful all over the eyelid or in the crease and then the final hot pink is called baby girl this is going way too fast for me baby girl is actually really fun to play with and it's also good as a blush I will show you again how to use this in some makeup tutorials coming soon I made sure to actually blend the swatches into my skin on my arm so you can kind of see how they accurately 
look on the eyes so I hope you guys can see how wearable these colors are while realizing you can still create really fun colorful looks so I can't wait to do some tutorials oh my gosh okay so first thing before I start my eyeshadow I'm just going to quickly bronze up my face a little bit I am going to use the healthy glow powder by Givenchy and this is in the shade 2 now you may notice my face is very pink I'm doing a first impression today on a foundation and it is obviously the wrong undertone for me the wrong color so we're just going to pretend like it's fine <laughs> using a medium face brush I'm just going to buff this around my cheeks jawline forehead nose just anywhere the sun would naturally hit me today I'm going to use my Chi Chi soft brown brow pomade and then to clean up under my brows I'm using high brow by benefit Okay, step one, I'm going to first take the shade Need You, which is at the top in the middle. And this is like a huge round eye brush, so this brush really like blows out the color. So it's perfect for the transition shade. These colors are so easy to blend, just like the other palette. Next up, I'm taking this Marc Jacobs The Shadow Brush. And I'm going to go into Island Glow, and I'm going to highlight my... Ooh, this brush is shedding. This is like the most perfect light gold. It's so nice. I'm gonna take a little bit in my inner corner too, right now. Now I'm going into the original side with the shade Beach Babe. I'm gonna take Dark Horse, and this is on a firm blender brush. And I'm going to apply some of this into the deepest part of the crease on the outer half. Oh, I love that color, it's so beautiful. So those of you who wanted some more neutrals will be stoked with this side of the palette. Like, this is my dream palette. It's perfect. Now I am wetting my eyeshadow brush. This is the Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. And I'm taking the shade Dream Girl. And I'm going to pack that on the middle of my eyelid. So this is like a duochrome. So it's going to change when you kind of move your head a little bit. And don't worry, I've got plenty of tutorials coming with the pinks. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Silhouette, which is the darkest shade. And I'm just going to apply some of this to my outer V. Just to make it super smoky. I'm taking a little bit more of Need You on this Tulip Blender Brush. I'm just going to buff that out. I'm taking a little bit of Need You on my brush with a little bit of Dark Horse. I'm just doing some smoky underneath. I'm not going to use any eyeliner because I want my eyes to kind of look bright. Even though they're really smoky, yeah, I just want to keep them really wide open, I guess. I'm going to apply the Tarte Gifted Mascara. Just while I finish off my eye makeup, I'm going to apply woo, this Elizabeth Arden Pampering Pink like lip oil stuff. The lashes. I'm going to use this Chic by EXO Beauty, one of my favorite pairs ever. Now I'm going to take the Natasha Sculptin Glow Light Medium Palette, which is filthy, in a face definer brush. For my blush, I'm actually going to take this bright pink. Just taking the tiniest amount on my brush. So if you don't think you're going to use the pink, trust me, you will. And then with a small face brush, whoop, I'm going in with Island Glow. And seriously, like, watch this pigment. This is what I do when I want an intense highlighter. And then to pull the look together, I want to do a nice bold lip. I'm starting with Orange Lip Liner by NYX. And then it's taking my favorite orangey red color, Limerence by EXO Beauty. I'm just gonna mattify my lips, like get rid of that lip balm first. You could also use one of the colors from the old Shan XO palette if you have that one. Like this lip color here is kind of similar. It's a little bit lighter though. And that is the completed makeup tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this launch video. I hope you are all excited. I am so thrilled and so excited for you guys to actually like get this palette and play with it and send me your looks. I'm so excited. I can't explain to you like I love this palette to death. It is just 
it's my favorite. Like, it's as simple as that. It's my favorite. So I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I really appreciate your support over all of these years, and especially with the original Shanexo palette, and I hope that the remix lives up to your expectations. I hope you guys love it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're excited for the palette, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what your favorite color is from the new side of the palette, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!